Most people start with the CompTIA A+, in regards to their certification journey. And it's one of the few tests that's actually made up of two tests that you need to accomplish to become certified. And right now, the first test that you take is called the 901, and the second is 902. And you'll definitely hear them referred to as the hardware versus the software test. And that's because about 60-70% of the 901 is based on hardware and hardware troubleshooting. Now you will see uh, mobile devices and networking on that test as well, but it really is going to focus on what type of hardware you need to be familiar with and how to fix it when anything goes wrong. Now the 902 is more of the software test. Now software is really kind of too narrow. I'd like to widen that out to operating systems and user interface tests, as well as the troubleshooting of those things. So looking at the 901, you have 34% hardware and 28% hardware and troubleshooting, and the remainder of the test is made up of networking and mobile devices. Taking a look at the 902 breakdown, 30% is Windows operating system. It's still the world leader. You have got to know how to install, maintain, and configure Windows for your end users. Now the remainder of that test is made up of other operating systems and technologies, which is like Linux, Apple, Unix, even Blackberry, they do talk about mobile operating systems a little bit there, Android of course. About 20 to 25% of it is going to be security related. Obviously that's a big topic now in IT, and some of you are going after cybersecurity, so this is going to be your entry to what security looks like in technology. We also take a look at software troubleshooting and operational procedures. Now, operational procedures is a lot of times where people get a little lost because they don't know what to expect from that. And that's really the procedural, procedural uh, paperwork, the policies, and the steps to go about the troubleshooting and incident management process. So as you go through your A+, remember that there are two kind of really distinct different exams. The format's going to be very similar, the types of questions you'll get will be similar, but it's a different approach. When you're troubleshooting hardware, the first thing you should check, is it plugged in? Well, if it's a software operating system issue, we know the device is plugged in, now it's on, and it's not working properly. So even though we may have a very similar question on the 901 and 902, how you would go about troubleshooting those things are very different. Just as a quick example, let's say for some reason we can't connect to the network. In 901, we're going to ask, is your Cat5 cord plugged in, and is the router turned on, is the device itself, like the laptop or PC, is the Wi-Fi switch toggled on? But looking at the 902 perspective, we may ask, does the computer have an IP address assigned? And if not, then we should look at some connectivity issues within the PC and system, not on the physical side. So keep that in mind as you study that it's just a different approach, but you're still learning about how to maintain, install, and configure hardware, software, and of course the operating systems uh, that are in our world. 901 and 902, if you want to take a deeper dive into these objectives, uh, take a look at Google, honestly. Just Google A plus objectives or CompTIA A plus objectives and you will definitely find uh, two PDFs. Pull them up, study them, they get an in-depth look at what you're going to be studying for the test. And we also go through a full-blown per objective breakdown in all of our courses. So we'll look at objective one, and then 1.1 and 1.2, so you'll know the depth of what you are going to be exam or quizzed on when you step into the exam room. See you soon.